So I'm about to go to a job interview. I got my coat on even though it's really not cold outside. So we're gonna see how this pans out. And then later on after that, we're gonna talk about why I'm moving out of state. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good plan. Stick around for the rest of this video. thousand years later just finished my job interview Ooh, uh, and I'm going to one of these places across the street to eat I don't know where yet so we're gonna go this way this is like a really 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 busy corner over here ah! beautiful day today though like really it is nice out here. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some food and then we'll talk about my living situation and where I'm moving to. Job interview went good. Um, lunch went good. Everything went good. So, living situation. So, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I typically record my videos in the car. Um, or on the go in general. If you watched my my last video, how about you not? I talk about my living situation when I was doing laundry and whatnot. And I do live with my brothers. Currently right now I'm in Michigan. And next year I will be moving to Atlanta to do songwriting so that's why you guys typically don't see me recording in like a more comfortable like stable for lack of a better word setting because of the fact that you know I I live with them but it's just the actual living situation within itself um, I sleep on a couch so I mean I don't have like my own room or anything to where I can you know have a little proper setup that's more comfortable and more cozy and gas is cheap out here but yeah so that's my living situation um, and moving out of state if you guys have moved out of state no matter where to where if you have any tips let me know I've been watching a lot of video specifically about living in Atlanta and you know obviously you don't know about it until you actually move there now I did go visit there and I have a vlog on my channel which I will link in the cards and also in the description about you know my first time going there I loved it it felt like home my friends like I could definitely see you living here and I was like really oh my gosh. but yeah that's that's the current situation this is my first time moving out of state and living on my own completely on my own I feel like I need to be all the way to the right and I probably do these people drive like Uh, me included. So 
I'm excited, you know, for this journey in life. Um, I am nervous because I've never lived on my own by myself, but I know I got this, so I'll be fine. It's going to be obviously a huge, huge adjustment um, as opposed to living with my sister or with my brothers. Because when I lived with my sister, me and her had an apartment. It was the two of us and, you know, I had my own room and all that stuff. I do have older videos of when I used to record in my room. But I'm actually excited to do this YouTube thing in my own space and tailor it to how I want to and what works for me and all that good jazz so I'm actually really excited as nervous as I'm I'm nervous too I think that's natural you guys I'm a very impatient driver and I low-key have road rage like low-key you won't see me do it on the channel but like low-key I've got road rage I'm excited to be living in a new state as well but I'm mainly excited for having my own place now obviously having your own place comes with its own responsibility and trials and tribulations and error. You know what I mean? Like, I get that. But I'm not even worried about that until I cross that bridge as far as, like, the stress of it all. I'm just excited for the overall just having my own place. And that is so exciting. Um... Any tips on living on your own? Any tips on moving out of state? Let your girl know. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, should I apply for a job like when I'm literally about to move? Like there's so many like internal questions I have. I'm like, I'm like, should I apply somewhere before? Like, right, right before I move, like, I don't know, say if I'm moving, hypothetically, September 1st of next year, should I apply for jobs down there, like, the week before I move, so I have something set, or should I actually move? Like, there's so many things that I'm trying to figure out here, and I'm like, hey, there's a lot going on, but, um, I'll figure it out, I'll get it figured out, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too worried, but it is, you know, those are things that I should be thinking about before I actually move because those are important things, jobs and living situations, because I mean, I mean, if I gotta sleep in my car, I will, I'm not that bad at bougie, but I prefer not to, you know, until I get my own place, obviously, but um, yeah, so go ahead and drop some tips and tricks and advice and, you know, job searching and apartment searching, not specifically for Atlanta, but just like, what do you guys think is the best route for someone? Like moving out of state, trying to, not trying, but getting their own place and stuff. Should they, you know, do that stuff right before they, like, they move? Like, or should they wait until they actually move to actually apply for jobs and places? Hopefully I'm making sense if I try to concentrate on driving and um, all that fun stuff. But this month, well, not this month, next month, January, I've got a lot of fun massage material that I want to do. I've got thumbnails. Like, I got some stuff planned, y'all. Like, I want to really get into my career as a massage therapist and talk to you guys about it. So, if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe. I've got more cooking videos coming, too, because I just uploaded my first cooking video. And I'm super uber duper excited to upload up, to upload more cooking videos. And I'm also excited to upload massage content. And then I'm also going to be doing like vlogs as well. You know, like I have been doing. And I can't wait. You know, I'm going to vlog when I move and that whole situation. Um, maybe my going away party. I don't know that one. So yeah, I'm going to be vlogging, I'm going to be cooking, I'm going to be doing all the fun stuff that YouTubers do. It's going to be a vibe. Cooking, vlogging, moving, like massage material. Once I start songwriting professionally, that's why I'm moving to Atlanta to songwrite. 
once I start doing that, I'll try to vlog as much of that as I can. We'll see when we get there, you know, but we'll get there because I know I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You know, I got this. I know I got this. I'll make a video of how I got into songwriting, what prompted me and made me want to go into songwriting, how I got into songwriting like myself before I get into it professionally and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to talk about that. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I mean, why not? It's a party. It's a fun time. It's actually not a party. I'm pretty mellow, but it's a great time. You know, we love it here. I love it here. And I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers by December 31st, and we are on our way there, and I'm so excited, and I love you guys for showing all the love and liking my videos and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. I remember when I only had like four subscribers. Now I'm at 47, and I'm like, oh, it's exciting. Like, I, I like it. I have fun with this. This is so fun to me. And I just feel like whatever you do in life, you should be having fun. Like, yes, your career is, or your job, what have you, that, you know, take it seriously. But if you're not having fun and enjoying it, personally, what do you, I think you should be enjoying what you're doing as much as possible, you know. Everything has its pros and cons, obviously, but yeah, I'm excited and like this video subscribe to my channel i upload videos every single monday i'm gonna check out get home well to my sister's house and i'm trying to finish this year out strong and get to 50 subscribers and if we can surpass that even better but i'll see you guys next week on monday and